Fans of theater can still enjoy performances right from their own homes, courtesy of the Latino Theater Company's virtual online season. These free shows will include archived full productions, live online conversations with company members, and sneak peeks into readings of plays set to be performed on stage in 2021. In recognition of Latino Heritage Month, the LATC will stream all three parts of Evelina Fernandez's epic, A Mexican Trilogy, over three consecutive Tuesdays. To learn more about Latino Theatre Company, visit the LATC.org. Metro is planning a new light rail for the East San Fernando Valley. This line extension will expand from the Van Nuys Metro G Line to the Silmar San Fernando Metro League Station, covering a total of 9.2 miles. $1.3 billion had been identified for this project, with most of the money coming from Local Measure M, Measure R, and state gas tax funds. The city's growing light rail transit network in Los Angeles is making it easier for Angelinos to leave their cars at home and take public transportation. The groundbreaking is scheduled for 2022. This project is expected to be completed in time for the 2028 Olympic and Paralympic Games. For more info, visit metro.net. During the Safer at Home orders, many Angelinos have taken the time to possibly rearrange their homes or maybe a late spring cleaning. And with that may come some heavy and bulky items that you wish to toss away. What do you do in this situation? The correct answer is to use the MyLA311 app. Doing this will eliminate the risk of a fine, plus the city will come pick up these items in front of your home for free. Dumping on the sidewalk streets or alleys could mean a minimum fine of $200 going up to $25,000, potentially with jail time. Do spring cleaning responsibly. To find out more about the MyLA311 app, visit lacitysan.org.